back on the tracks today. So, coordinated political censorship. Let me say that again. Coordinated political censorship. That's what I want to talk about. Just hold that thought for one second because there's evidence in this sign right here. See this? See, I'm just anywhere in America. Right? See if you, see a, you see a sign on the wall, right? It's advertising. Right? Somebody owns that fence and someone is advertising something on that fence. Now, is it private property? Is it corporate property? Is it public property? It doesn't matter. It's a sign that someone is has where the public can see it, right? Now, if the person puts up something lewd or, or you know, it's like, you know, eat at Joe's and then somebody goes to Joe's and eats a hamburger and dies, is the person who wrote the sign responsible? No, right? It's a, it's a public, right? So uh, my point is that is that Facebook and and the, the, the enemy right now is the it's Apple Apple Facebook Google have coordinated a political coordinated attack against a particular guy on Facebook. It's a great example because he grew to 2.4 million subscribers, right? That's big. Right? That's a that's a that's a large reach. That's just Facebook. That's just that's just YouTube. What about Facebook, right? So so uh, Infowars got taken down in a in a coord coordinated political fashion, right? Did Facebook and Apple and 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 YouTube, I'm sorry, and Google, Apple, Facebook, Google and Spotify, who cares? Did they all just come to the same conclusion at once and say, "Oh, yeah, Alex Jones, yeah, he's, he's, he, you know, we don't, we don't, we think he's, he's, he, he's, he's preaching hate speech and all this shit, right?" No, they, they it's a coordinated effort. It, it's there's no other way to 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 explain that. So I'm going to continue along the lines of uh, Alex Jones and Infowars lawyer. If you want to, I know what I'm. <laughs> I've I've fought City Hall and. I know some stuff about this. So so I want to talk to you guys about your your case. Right? Now, I see it I see what what's happening as being as big as uh, the people versus Larry Flint, where Larry Flint was sent he was sued. He, I think he said Jerry Falwell he wants to have sex with Jerry Falwell's mother. <laughs> some outrageous comment that he wrote in his in his magazine. In Hustler magazine, right, and they they sued him and he lost and he he appealed and he lost and he appealed and he went all the way to the Supreme Court in in the final analysis he won and that his speech is protected under the First Amendment. Now, again, it's not the the people are talking about oh make the you know Facebook and Google and the rest of them. Uh, municipalities regulate them as a municipality no it, it's not necessary we have a First Amendment we don't need a new rule we have the rule right the rule is the First Amendment the protection of free speech in America right and just because Facebook Google and Apple got so big that now they think that they own everybody and that they can navigate they can direct the the, uh, the discussion no you're allowed to create a, a, a platform a public domain and have people discuss things but you can't then say that that the law doesn't apply because it's it's our property no that's not that's not how that you you they fundamentally either don't understand the first amendment or the globalist effort to to uh, to make it go away now the other thing is the bait and switch everybody this whole discussion is now becoming about censorship and the mainstream sickening media is, you know, and the establishment is wonderful at doing it. But the real focus is what did Alex Jones say and why did they, why was there a coordinated political censorship of him and Infowars? He talked about false flags. He talked about the possibility that the FBI and the CIA create events to, that don't, that don't really, they, they, they're not real events. They're, they're, uh, Characterizations. That was the truth train, by the way. See how the truth train comes out? They're they're um, they're coordinated events to to create a, a diversion to to um, it's it's hard to explain. But like for example, when Vegas 
right? If there's a story in the media right now, right, that, that talks about oligarchy, that's the real problem, right? Right? That's the whole shit right now. Two truth trains. Woo! But you can blow his horn. Ready? Woo! I don't want to lose the focus on this, right? Because, right? <laughs> it wasn't. So, so, Alex Jones has the ability to be, he, he's in the same position as Larry Flint, that it's not, it's not the nature of the speech. It's not, not at all. It's not. Because they'll always say it's to, to protect the children. They're doing this because Alex Jones is evil and, and harassing people, and, and it's to protect the children. They always say that. But it's never, it's not about the children. The children are far smarter than most humans walking around. <laughs> right? the, the older you get, the stupider you get, right? The more set in your ways you get. But this was a coordinated effort, and I believe it was directed one above, right? It may have been a, a tit for tat, a favor, where knock Alex Jones and InfoWars out of the box because they're the front runner. They're, they're, they're now like Fox News, not so much, but actually more deadly and more, more effective than Fox News. See, Alex Jones and InfoWars is, is, like is like a swift, it's like a kick from behind, right? It's like the, you know, the oligarchy standing there and some loud motherfucker comes behind you and just kicks you right in the fucking crotch, right? From behind. You don't even see it come. It's like a swift fucking ball kick, right? That's what Alex Jones does to them, and they hate that shit, right? They hate that shit because he's talking about their money and their politics. And Alex Jones has been around the block a few times. Not, not, he's not the only one, but he got big enough where his reach was deemed, you know, dangerous. Right? His speech, they're not afraid of what he's, they're not, look, they don't rip your tongue out. There's a good, that, someone put an expression in one of the threads that they don't rip someone's tongue out because, you know, because of what he says. They, they, they're, they're fearful, <laughs> I forgot the term, but they're fearful of what he's saying, right? They, they, they don't want him, to, they don't want Alex Jones talking. So, so my, my view on this, uh, and this will probably be the last video about it, but I think that Alex Jones has the potential to be one of the biggest, the, the InfoWars situation where he got blocked off of three platforms overnight for fictitious rules and regulations, right? Because he talked about the, the potential of government interference, right? Government faking events, events that didn't really happen. Now, did those events actually happen? Did Parkland, Sandy Hook, and, and the Las Vegas shootings actually happen the way they said it happened? I don't know. Did Seth Rich actually get murdered on the streets of D.C. and it wasn't a political hit by the DNC? It, it, sure, it, sure, it, it sure doesn't look that way, right? It sure looks like it was a political hit and, and such. So, so is, is the part, you know, that is the subject. Although we're being dragged into censorship, the real subject is the idea of false flags, challenging false flags, and that the default argument is always to protect the children. That's why the two shootings were children, right? That's why they use, they use it, because, you know, oh, the children are sacred. But really, you know, so, so, so Google, Facebook, Apple, guess what? You guys are public domain. You guys have, have risen to the point of, being the, the, the public square where people are allowed to go out and talk and, and say things. Just like, that, just like that sign right there, right? Just like the sign right there. You're not responsible for what people say on your platform. That's, that's pompous and ignorant and arrogant to say that. That, oh, we have to protect the children. Now, there are rules. If someone says, I want to, you know, is advocating, you know, killing babies or, or you know, or some kind of other... Outrage, something illegal that's different right it's like renting a house to someone and they, they're having you know they, they're, they're doing something that you don't know what's going on maybe they're selling drugs out the back door you have no idea you're not responsible for that right you're, you're not you're not responsible for that but if someone if you stand at that door and say we don't like I don't like you because of your skin color or because of your political opinion or your your view on this subject 
there's laws to protect those people from from you right from you discriminating against them so so the, the point is that and I'll wrap this up the point is that Throw, throw off my mind strings. Fucking guy comes every day and he's looking at me like this. What the fuck are you doing? You see what I'm fucking doing, you idiot? Self conscious. So that's all I wanted to say about that. Another day in New York on the tracks. And um, Alex Jones, I think, uh, you know, if he doesn't, if he doesn't, if he doesn't, if it's not a hostile takeover where they, they try to take him down, they took him down. They took him down, okay? And now, now they're going to try to lift him up. Right? Now, is he going to take that bait, or is he going to keep fighting? Right? That's what we're going to find out. That's what we're going to find out. So, I'm going to kick him in his, I'm going to give him a ball kick. <laughs> give him a good, good, good swift cunt kick. Marcus Conti, peace out.